Tonight, families are furious after a speeding driver crashes into a historic African American cemetery, knocking over headstones. We're talking about the Barrett Station Evergreen Cemetery. It's off Highway 90, not far from Crosby Lynchburg Road in Northeast Harris County. Jason Miles spent the day checking out the damage. He joins us now live. Jason. Hey there, you know, it's really dark in this area, but some of the damage still plain as day. What isn't so clear is how all of this happened. Army veteran Freddie Eagleton died nearly 40 years ago. You know, this is a U.S. veteran. But his gravesite is no longer befitting a hero. And you can, if you got a light, you can look through the crack and see what's inside of that. It's one of several severely damaged over the weekend in the historic Barrett Station Evergreen Cemetery. It's devastating and it's hurtful and I'm just trying to keep it together. Janine Menifee Belllock's youngest brother, Frederick Menifee. That was our baby. Was buried here in 2004. His grave, another one struck by at least one pickup truck. The headstone is in one place, the uh, pedestal is in another, and they cracked his uh, cover on his grave. Family members immediately suspected vandalism when they discovered the damage Sunday. But at this point, the Harris County Sheriff's Office does not believe it was intentional. Investigators say a teenager lost control of his truck while rounding this curve before careening through the cemetery. We regard our cemetery as sacred, you know. We're gonna continue to take care of it and we're not gonna let this go until something is done. The community wonders how one truck did so much damage and why nearby road signs were wiped out too. It's, it's a lot of unanswered questions and we need answers. Families left to figure out how to proceed. The dead should be allowed to rest in peace don't plan on laying their concerns to rest either. And here's what I can tell you about the driver. He was charged with not having his ID on him and for failing to drive in a single lane. But that's it. Although investigators say the case remains open. Meantime, the cemetery is working on paying for all of this damage through their insurance company. They hope the driver pays up too. reporting live near Crosby. Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.